Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be showcasing this Pac-Man cabinet from Arcade 1-Up. And it's a unit I've had a couple years now. It was their Legacy Edition, I believe is what they call it. Yeah, Arcade 1-Up is its brand. And the Legacy Edition is its Pac-Man, uh, Legacy Edition Pac-Man. So you got the riser. See, what it is, is the unit, you know, is kind of small. If You can actually sit the unit on the floor for kids to play it. And it's perfect height for kids. But they, the units come with custom risers. And then you just put the unit on the riser for it to be the, you know, height for an adult. Now, I'm six foot one, and this is perfect for me. Now, when I have friends over to play in my arcade they tend to migrate to this box first because it's something that they played as a kid. I'm going to just shut it off. Turn it back on. It was a Pac-Man was something that we all grew up on and people are really uh, comfortable playing it. It's pretty simple to play. This unit um, has multiple games. Again, it's Arcade 1-Up. Uh, you can go to their uh, website arcade1up.com at any time and check out the cabinets that they uh, sell a lot of these cabinets i was able to pick up either on uh, amazon best buy and i think i even got one from walmart so you can get them at those retailers uh, I, I normally go to amazon first because i find them they go on uh, special quite often on amazon because the other People, you know, the other vendors are also selling on Amazon. And, you know, Best Buy has good uh, pricing, too. And and if you're part of their rewards packaging and you spend money with them, then you can use your reward point to bring the cost down some. And all these units were all shipped to my house free of free shipping. So I only had to pay the uh, the freight, uh, or not the freight, but the, the cost of the unit plus tax, and the freight was free. So that was nice. And I, we're not, and, uh, I mentioned that because... Arcade One Up has that uh, free shipping, but for items I think four ninety nine or more. So, but with Amazon, if you're a Prime member, it's going to be free. It's going to be free regardless, and it's in the and the pricing on Amazon usually matches what the other retailers are doing. So let's talk a little bit more about this cab. It's got some great art on the side. I'm going to pull it forward just a little bit so you can see it. Because I have most of my cabs next to each other, the the uh, artwork is is you can't really see it all that well. So these are the games that came stock. Now this unit is not on Wi-Fi. This uh this unit predated when they started adding Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if I could just get an adapter for it to put it on Wi-Fi, but I don't think it would make make much of a sense to do it anyway because I don't think they're sending updates through Wi-Fi for these units. I know my other Wi-Fi cabinets, they get updates all the time uh, to them. And they have Wi-Fi on them. So maybe if they feel that some, you know one of these games needs an update, they'll have a walkthrough on how to get an adapter or put an adapter in. But this one did not come with it. And I think all their future boxes are going to come with Wi-Fi on it. Because it just makes it so much easier. Because I know with, when it came to my racing game, there was only it was only... Um, Four games and then they added a extra game to the unit and back then they used to use thumbsticks they would download it off the off the website the arcade wood up site they would put it on a thumbstick and then there was a usb plug-in where you could add that extra game but i was able to buy the game which right here and it came with them already loaded which was nice all right so this game unit comes with pac-man pack and pal um super pac-man you know you can read them here I like, uh, you know, I like Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2. I like that too. A Galactica, I like that. It's like a Space Invader kind of game. And then with this uh, on the screen, this is the the command button. Now, I, I want to show you this, that you can go to this button here while you've got your game highlighted, and that will bring you into the options. So you can change the options on every one of these games. And then you just go down and say save and exit and you hit this button here 
and it saves it. So each one of these has their own in-game options. Let's go back up to the Pac-Man and I'm just gonna hit this button here and that brings the game up. It is Pac-Man. I mean, it, it's a really good time. Uh, I gotta select player. I'm gonna only do one player. I guess I gotta hit it one more time. So that, this is it. I mean, I'm not the greatest at this game. More or less, people who come to my home, this is the first cabinet they like to play on. So I don't, I don't get a lot of time on it uh, when I have guests because the, you know, they're guests. You know, they can play. They should be able to play whatever they want to play. I shouldn't, you know, be. Uh, using up the box time while they're here. <laughs> I can do it. I can, well, I can do it while I'm alone. Oh, I'm gonna get crushed. No, Tarkus pulled it off. The champ move. Come on. Oh, no. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it more than once. So, yeah, it's a fun, fun cabinet. I'm really pleased with it. The buttons are fine. I've had no complaints. I mean, this, out of all my cabinets for from Arcade 1 Up, this is the most used one. And the buttons are fine. It's a couple years old. Now, I know that there's been some discussion on they, people recommend replacing this joystick with a better option. I guess there's kits out there that you can upgrade the, the stick. It's not really that hard uh, to swap these things out. I saw a video on it, but I've never found the need to do that. I have all original parts on all my cabinets. They're all original. I haven't upgraded, modded, or done anything. So, and I've been really, really happy. Now, putting these things together is like an IKEA cabinet. When you get these things, try to get the uh, the the uh, person who's going to be uh, delivering it to bring it in the house for you, because it's pretty bulky. It comes it it comes in a well, I would say a, it's probably six inches wide, and it ends up being maybe three and a half, four feet long. And you got to pull the sections out, you know, basically you pull this section out and then this one, you know, and then they give you instructions and in putting it together. Now, that's a whole process in itself is putting one of these things together, but it's well worth it. It's not really that hard. I use a, uh, a Dewalt power drill and I put it on the lowest torque setting. So then when I go to put these uh, screws in, uh, let me see if I can find one here. So you put these screws in and... And, you know, it's a, if you can follow instructions, they're not that very, and they're not that heavy. So you'll be able to put them, especially you've got the riser, which is not connected. Now, some people take screws, well, on this side, and screw the riser into the top. I haven't done that. And, I, you know, I just haven't done that. I didn't want to damage the side. They're not, I don't think, some, one of these is meant to have it connected. But more or less, they uh, they uh, they just sit, you know, gravity holds it all down. And they do have, for kids, they have a thing where you can kind of tie it to the wall behind it. So if you've got kids crawling on it, it won't fall from the wall. Now, when the kids are in my arcade, I watch them very closely. I watch them like a hawk. They use these stools, you know, they, you know, they sit up on those steel stools, which is perfect. You know, I got this stool here, which is which is ideal for their size. Uh, the only the only trouble they have is the racing machine because their feet don't. So basically, they they stand up to it and they're and they're and they're looking over the steering wheel. Uh, they do the best they can. It's just that you can't sit in a in a uh, stool to run that game. You can as an adult. You you can you know you can sit easy as an adult there. All right, well, I definitely recommend this. If you can find it on one of the retailers I mentioned below, or you can definitely find it on One Up, uh, Arcade One Up, uh, you know, a website. I don't know what edition they're in. They might be coming out with another edition because uh, they do uh, do new additions to the Pac Man units. And I'm going to think that the f future editions will have the Wi Fi capability, like a few of my other cabinets do. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, everything finds you well and happy gaming. Uh, this has been the Tarkus Zone.